band some man. We gonna go outside after Mama eats. Yes, we will. Mr. Kia Gumbo Band some man. Oh, damn, my hair. It's like falling out of this clip. I don't think this clip really holds my hair. Um, hi, friends. How are y'all? We're gonna do a little penny. Did you find them? Obviously, I can't say, well, I can't. Um, Cause I mean, obviously it's not a secret that you're trying. Did you find those um, uh, Conceive Plus pills on Amazon that I was talking about? Hi, Joni. Hey, Janie. Janie, did it work for you? Did mama leave? Mama's been gone, girl. Mama left yesterday at like... Oh my gosh. Uh, mama left at like 5 p.m. yesterday. I can't remember exactly what time. I know, Jess. I haven't been eating spicy food as much, so I can't handle the whole... Um, okay, Penny. I can't handle the whole packet of spice anymore. Oh my God, Stacy! we do not miss the short hair. We miss the blonde, but not the short hair. Hi, Crystal. I'm good. How are you, my love? So... I'm in the mood for some spicy noodlers. Um, <clears throat> I don't get heartburn from eating these though. I shouldn't want you to buy any more. Why? They're too spicy. I'm gonna, I made some hard boiled eggs because I was gonna make a sandwich at some point today, but I'm craving noodles. So I'm gonna, this is such a dangerous top, but it's so comfy. Let me cover all of my bases here. Thank you for sharing the love. So yeah, we're gonna make some spicy noodlers. Um, and we're also gonna do a little Q and A. I sure did, Mandy. We're gonna do a little Q and A. <laughs> Uh, during this life. So if you're new or if you're not new, whatever questions you may have, um, saying this right here, right now, um, just, just because I stream on Facebook Live does not mean that I have to answer all of your questions. So if you have ask some off the wall fucking question does not mean I need to answer it. But for the most part, I am an open book. So I feel like I answer almost every question. But if you comment some off the wall shit, then psh, Girl, just leave before you do that. Okay, just see yourself out. I don't really know what my hair is doing over here. Um, so where do we belong, sir? Where? It's like a windshield wiper. <laughs> like, where do you belong? Where did you come from? Who are you? Samantha? <laughs> Like from Frozen. I don't even know a Samantha. Um, so yeah, but other than that, I will answer any questions that you guys might have. So like I said, you can ask questions whether you're new or whether you've been here. Completely up to you, okay? But like I said, just because you ask it and you're on here commenting does not mean that I have to fucking answer. So there's that. Mama didn't make it home safely, yes. She is home. Um, after all the detours and the road closures, she is home. I was like, well, look at that. Wasn't it just worth it? Wouldn't it have just been worth it for you to just stay here and leave at like 4 a.m.? She's like, yeah, probably, but whatever. I'm like, okay, well, now we know for next time. Uh, did you quit drinking? Good girl, no, I love tequila way too much. <laughs> well, I love tequila way too much to be cutting tequila out of my diet. The only way I will probably ever stop drinking is if my doctor is like, bitch, you're in like liver failure. Stop. <laughs> um, other than that, tequila ain't ever leaving my life, girl. <clears throat> I need a website for your mugshots, girl. Man, <laughs> girl, message me. I'll send it to you. 
And there's only one. <laughs> there's only one. So happy she made a home save. Me too. So cold here. 23 here. Yeah, it's in the 30s here. It is not the greatest, but it is a lot warmer than it was when I first got back. I will say that. Hi, Kendra. So we're going to make some noodlers. We're going to also make some iced lemon water. Um, and hello, Snowden with COVID. Oh no, feel better. Um, we don't have chopsticks, so we're just going to use a uh, fork. Hola, como estas? Hola, Nelson. Muy bien. Me too. Señor, donde eres? My beautiful, awesome, Miss Pleasant. Well, oh, Joanne. When people stop showing up after a while, um, I kind of forget until you pop up. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, where have you been? What's wrong with your mom's car? She doesn't know yet. Um, we won't know until, what's it called? She takes it to the mechanic shop. And she was not about to fuck with that. She wanted to go home. Hi, Kylina. So, girl, I was watching old videos of you. And Ashley, I hope she's doing good. Miss her videos. Oh, she's on meth, girl. <laughs> She's on meth. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about that, you're more than welcome to drop them down below. Uh, I was praying for her, and I was sending all the good vibes to her, and well, me and a lot of people were literally praying to the gods that she was going to wake up and leave the drug life behind, but obviously that isn't happening. The only times I heard from her last year was to bail her out of jail to pay her to pay for her to stay in hotel rooms or get her food, which was probably not for food, it was for drugs. Um, how do you really feel about the Tara check? <laughs> Bitch, don't get me started. 10,000 stars, I'll spill all the tea. Hi, I love you and I miss you. Um, I need to text you, by the way. So text me right now so I text you back. And it was too hot for me. I'm going to only put half the spicy stuff the next time. Yeah, these, yeah so that's what I was saying, like, I can't handle the whole packet like I used to. Uh, yeah, Arlene, it did. I was talking about that in Supporters Girl. I was saying that I was going to go up for about three or four months. Um, wasn't she going to rehab? <laughs> Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Anywho, so yeah. Um, thank you, Susan, for the 500 stars. Uh, but yeah, we were all praying for her to get better. Um, I was rooting for the bitch, not gonna lie. And then the bitch recently used my card for $400 to book an Airbnb and then try to tell me she didn't book it. And then try to tell her family that I booked it. And then I came on the internet on her page and told people that I booked it so that I could create drum on my page and bring in more followers don't really know how me spending four hundred dollars on my card for airbnb in las vegas is going to bring me more followers but you know what pop off says <laughs> fuck um hey girl hey love you love you so yeah but the first excuse was that her phone was stolen and somebody else used her phone and her airbnb account um, and then when I talked to Airbnb, they're like, well, you have previous books or previous stays booked. And I was like, fuck. So I have an Airbnb account and her Airbnb account was logged in on my, on my phone because when we traveled together, um, I would pay for everything and we would book the Airbnb, but I like through her app because my app, um, they banned me because of my charge in, I don't know. I got aggravated assault like three or four years ago. So when I went to go book it, the person that um, I booked it through, they reported me to Airbnb. So they flagged my profile, which now it's all fixed and back. Airbnb was like, our bad. And I was like, it's fine. Um, where has Josh been? Work. But, um, so yeah, so she's like, she's used that Airbnb account. So she probably used it again to get followers. Bitch, I would never spend $400 of my own money to gain followers on social media. 
crackhead, <laughs> crackhead brain. Um, but yeah, so I guess I booked under her account, not knowing and, and, and previous bookings or whatever, which I don't even know how I did that. Because when I logged back into the Airbnb, Airbnb app, when she booked the hotel in Vegas, I was logged out of her account and it was in my account. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, honestly. But yeah, the bitch is on that. So if you, if you are wondering, <laughs> She, if you are wondering, I went and committed fraudulent charges on my card to go get more followers. And I booked the Airbnb in Vegas for 400. First, I booked the Crackhead Hotel. And then I realized I had money. So then I canceled the Crackhead Hotel and got something bougie. That was like $300 for two nights. The first one was $99 for the two or three. It was the 7th or the 10th, so I guess technically, well, two nights, because then you have to leave on the 10th. So, yeah, so if you're wondering, um, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to book this one because, you know, I'm a crackhead and I'm broke. But then I canceled it because I was like, oh, it's not going on my card. It's going on Anya's card. So let's go. Let's get bougie. Let's get some. Let's book something bougie to do our math at. I don't know how you do math. I don't know if you snort it, crack, uh, use a crack pipe. I guess that's for crack. I don't know. However you do, you do math, whatever. Um, yeah. So I have no idea how she's doing, girl. Her family barely hears from her. Her brother's fucking messaging me, telling me that she didn't do it, that the guy she's doing math with probably did it. But then she told him she was in San Diego, sent a screenshot of a booking of a hotel in San Diego. I called that hotel. They were like, bitch, we don't even have that confirmation number. Like she edited this whole ass photo of like this stay at some like town suites place. I don't even know. And then I was like, wait, there's no way in hell that she would go this far. Then I remembered, okay, the meth head that made her start doing meth, the guy she's with. Um he would photoshop all of his bank accounts photoshop his bitcoin photoshop his like trades and stock and all of that shit photoshop all of these like glorious purses he would get her on amazon and all of this shit so he would photoshop all this stuff and send it to her and then send it to me being like do you want this gucci bag i'm gonna get it for you it's 10 it's like 900 dollars. I, I got bands and i'm like well i don't know why why is your boyfriend trying to buy me gifts what the fuck he's she's like because like you've done you've been so good to me and he just has money like that girl <laughs> okay ma'am if he's got money like that why is he living in your house that you are failing to sell and failing to pay for with no job and on top of that, the motherfucker sold all of your furniture and your boy's Xbox system and like your fridge and shit. Like what? It's a whole mess, girl. It's a whole mess. So yeah, she like photoshopped this whole picture. He probably did. Honestly. <clears throat> and then tried to say she was in San Diego. But the hotel was booked in Vegas that she used my card for. But the initial story is that somebody stole her phone and booked it through her phone. But then the other, the, the next story was that she was in San Diego. I don't know. You know, crackheads can't keep up with their lies. So <clears throat> it all differs. So if you are subscribed to her, 10 out of 10 recommend unsubscribing because you are paying for a meth head's habit. That's what drugs can do to a person. Yes. Ain't that the truth? Um, so yeah, that's how she's doing. She's on meth. And then, like I said, the last time I initially heard from her was when she messaged me or sent me voice memos from, like, the 16th different number she had in the past, like, I don't fucking know, year and a half, saying that she's not selling her body, body for drugs and she didn't use my card for Instacart. It's so funny how my card keeps being used in Vegas. But it's not you. 
But my bank is obviously knows it's fraudulent charges and they're disputing it. They're investigating it. Um, and they have are sending me a new card, but it just sucks. <clears throat> what happened to her on our channel? Yeah. Um, she got locked up for like, they were like beating the fuck out of each other at like a casino. I don't know. She called me. She's like, bitch, I knew I, it was a Vegas number that called. And I was like thinking it was her <laughs> finally reaching out like, hey, I'm ready to go to rehab. Because honestly, you guys, if she would have called me at any point in time before stealing money from me, um and she would have been like hey you know i want to go to rehab um me and a team of her friends and family probably would have came together and found a way to pay for it or found a way to find something to get her in there because you know she's not a horrible fucking human being um but after the disrespect of constantly stealing and then trying to say that it's me doing it for attention bitch bye <laughs> see you later i ain't got the time no more <laughs> you can rot <laughs> Um, but yeah, she called me. She's like, hey, girl. I'm like, Ashley, what the fuck are you doing? And this was when I was pregnant. So like, I was like, I don't need this stress. It was July when she called me from jail. Um, it was July. And she was like, um... She gave this like bond person my contact information and then they called me and she she was like so you're bailing her out i said the fuck no she was like yeah it's a liability you given that you're in ohio or in alabama and if she doesn't go to court you're gonna owe this money i'm like yeah we ain't doing all that um and she's still on facebook she blocked me on her personal because I kept com p posting on her page, hi, I'm a meth head, and I steal from my best friend that literally, you guys, I went above and beyond for this bitch. Like, if you only fucking knew, <clears throat> not saying that what I give should be reciprocated, you know what I mean? Whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, financially, whatever, but it should at least be appreciated and... It just was not, <laughs> not anymore. And then when she admitted to me in person, when she was here on her last vid visit, that she started doing meth and the fact that she tried to okay it with me, um, it was just like, ma'am, girl, smoke all the weed that you want, okay? Do all the bumps you want, okay? Drink all the tequila you want. But meth, girl, we are... <laughs> Mm. only know your number when they need something mm -hmm. it's like come on now you know now we're going a little too far <laughs> now we're, i mean there's a difference between you know party drug here and there you know people what uh people do like ecstasy um molly i've done ecstasy and molly in high school i had a horrible time on that i tried it once and i was like that's not fun. I've done Adderall once because we were on a bike ride. Um, we were going to New York. This was when I used to hang out with bikers. <laughs> um, we were going on a bike ride. We we're going for a bike like fest rally thing. And the guy that I was seeing at the time, the enforcer of the... Um, what's it called yeah carla she's home um the enforcer of the bike club um he was like here just take an adderall and i was like what i've never done pills sir he was like i'll just keep you awake never again girl when i tell you i literally was up for two days two days two days bitch I, got, I was, when I got to the place and we went to the bar, um, like the clubhouse bar, bitch, I had two beers and a shot and I was wasted because the bitch did not want to eat. I was like, how do people do this? <laughs> um, I was awake for two days, bitch, two days. And then on the way home, and this, mind you, this was one Adderall, okay? Could you imagine if I did crack? Is crack the one that makes you all like crazy? I don't know. 
but sir, ma'am, never again. I was like, what the fuck? And then on the way home, bitch, on the back of the bike, um, like when I tell you I was helmet to helmet with this man, I was like, you need to pull over. I'm going to fall off this bike. Normally it takes Adderall for, it takes time for Adderall to work. Oh, it didn't like kick in right away. <laughs> it kicked in like halfway, like not halfway through the ride, probably like an hour and a half, two hours into the ride. I was like blinking like this. I mean, it was a pill. I don't know. Maybe it was something else. I don't know. I trusted him. And my, my sister-in-law, son-in-law's who? Bobby. But yeah, I was like, and when I tell you, bitch, I didn't sleep for two days on the way home. I was like banging my head against the helmet because I was like falling asleep, couldn't stay up. Like cars were probably wondering, like, is this girl okay? It normally takes weeks for it to take effect. Oh, what? Did I take something else? <laughs> Anyways, it was a one-time thing, so hopefully not, but who knows. But yeah, never fucking again, ho. <laughs> never again. <laughs> Um, I've never heard of that taking weeks to take effect, but whatever. Um, and then we pulled over and like, I was drinking coffee to try to stay awake. And he was like, do you want to take another Addy? And I was like, sir, no, I do not. What makes you think what? Are you okay? Um, but yeah, could you imagine if I like did actual like hard drugs? Like, bitch, I would probably be like, no Adderall fucks you up with one pill. Oh my God, what did I take? I don't know. It was, I was, how old was I? Bitch, when I tell you, oh, and I lost my phone on the way to New York from my back pocket when we were riding. I didn't realize it. I was gone for like four days. My mom like almost filed a missing persons report because I had no way to get a hold of her. And I was not about to be calling her from a biker's number <laughs> for her to be blowing their shit up, whatever. Um... If someone don't need it and takes them and works right then. Really? I don't know. Anyways, never again. Um, but yeah, my mom almost saw the missing persons report because the bitch was not responding to any messages or anything. I remember I got home and there was so many Facebook messages, so many um, Facebook posts like, have you seen Anya? No one's heard from her. And I was just having the time of my life at this bike rally. Okay, but like hanging out with everyone and there was so many old ladies that were pregnant and were just drinking and doing all the drugs and i was so confused i was like oh my god why am i here but then i had a really good time so i was like what the hell um just a real woman i just realized leah that i literally have a real woman <sighs> be quiet i love you um but yeah Adderall works immediately for people who don't need it. It's crazy. I don't know. It was like an hour and a half into the ride, and I was like blinking. Like I felt like I was blinking a million miles per hour. I was like, "What the fuck?" Um, and I think that's the only thing I did. Uh, well, I was prescribed Percocet, so I was gonna say I did Percocet, but I was prescribed Percocets when I blew my knee out in high school from soccer. I think I took them for two days, and they literally made me so sick. And it was like the worst time of my life. I was like, how do people, cause I know like a lot of like back in, back in the day, I want to take my prescription that my doctors give me. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, I was like, never again, what the fuck? And then shortly after that, me and him like a shark coochie board. Are you gonna make one when I see you next time, Liam? Who said, who's up for a trip for me to go see Liam and Jess? Tell me. So yeah, it was definitely a time in my life where I did not make the smartest decisions, but we all live and we learn, right? Right. Oh man, I didn't turn the eggs off. Or I turned the eggs off instead of this one off. Um, and then like I said, I've done ecstasy and mommy once in high school. 
This was like, I guess when it first became popular in the area I lived in, everybody was like, you want to roll? And I was like, I don't understand what that means. I was easily persuaded. I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's try it. Not like that anymore. It takes a few years to persuade me for anything. Darbs. I don't even know what that is. But yeah. And then when I was injured and then when I got injured, and they put me on, like I said, you guys, I can't handle the whole pouches anymore. Um, it's sad, but I can't. And then when I got injured, and um, oh, we're going to do half. And they put me on, dude, when I tell you guys, they had me on so much shit. Oh, I think this is enough. I hope so. I just threw that out. Um, when I tell, like, when all the shit they had me on when I got injured, like, I was a zombie. I don't know how I functioned. Like, no offense to, like, those that need prescriptions for pain. Or, like, you know, everybody is different. But I could never go back. Which is why I'm so, like, hesitant on even taking Tylenol and stuff. Like, I literally don't like taking medicine. I don't know, but, dude, the, they had me on morphine. They had me on Vivans. They had me on Valiums. Stevie's with her mom. They had me on Gabapentin, Baclofen. Um, it was crazy. And then when I was in the hospital, they were giving me that sleep drug thing. Um, I think it starts with an S. I can't remember. My pain medicine slow release morphine. I can't remember what mine was. You know, like cowboy times, every airport and agricultural checkpoint in the state of Florida has a wanted photo of you hanging up. I wish you luck. <laughs> Trying to come visit you. <laughs> That's how much Liam doesn't want me to come visit him, you guys. <sighs> Who, Alicia? Me and Liam and Jess. Hot pink. Oh, I don't know, Bobby. But yeah, like, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. And I remember, bitch, when I tell you, one day I woke up and I was like, fuck these meds. I ain't taking these no more. And I threw them out. Like, literally all my scripts. And I think I survived, like, day two. And when I hit day two... The withdrawal started kicking in. And when I tell you I was hallucinating bit. What? Okay, you guys. Can you hear me? You're safe behind a thick wall of glass. Goodbye. I know Sterling and Stevie do need to meet. Um, I believe she still has a Facebook. I don't know about her personal, because like I said, she blocked me. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, Crystal. We we download we downloaded Blabber and we are going to get a yearly subscription. So Liam, we have a year before we are sailing the seven seas. Uh, beautiful new products have changed my life and I'm disabled charity girl how are you babe sorry you guys I'm texting Josh back <clears throat> I believe it gown pen is terrible to come off girl it wasn't even the gabapentin that was terrible to come off. It was the morphine. A game controller? Is that how he's trying to pay? Okay, well, figure it out, Josh. Uh -uh. Hi, Amanda. Hey, Brittany. 
But yeah, so never again. For like literally, and I remember I asked like my doctor to like put me in therapy and stuff to help with the nerve pain, and like their their only ever response would be like, "Well, we can prescribe you this," and I'm like, "I don't want prescriptions." <laughs> I just want to figure out another alternative. Dude, gabapentin is horrible for you, girl. I was on the 600 milligram one. Let's see how long until I start hiccuping. Oh, really, Teresa? Oh my gosh, Teresa. <clears throat> Sooner or later, girl, your body ain't gonna, you're gonna, your body's not gonna, it's not gonna do anything for you. Yeah, my mom's patient, she had MS, and they were putting her on so much gabapentin. Didn't do anything for her. She would push for, not, for them not to have it. No, Greta, I didn't. I forgot to peel my eggs. <clears throat> I mean, believe what you want. I'm just telling you, the girl's on meth. So, take that as you will. Yeah, they do prescribe gum pen for rest of the legs. It's supposed to be for nerve pain, but... Teresa, are you talking about why you? Why the noodles taste weird? I don't know, I didn't say that. <sighs> what book are you reading, babe? Candy. It didn't help my nerve pain either, Amanda. Um, the last slide she did, she was talking about how her meth had boyfriend like uh, crashed her car or whatever, and she was done with him. And you could see like all the scabs and shit. <coughs> Can you get Audible on your phone? Probably, huh? Who is this? Me? Anya, hi. Welcome, Jenna. I've never heard of that part of Wisconsin, but then again, I've only been to Wisconsin twice, so. Julia, double amputee, like your legs, babe. Hi, it's me. <laughs> Actually, this is the bulldog, the black bag. 
Oh my gosh, Charlene, that's terrifying. Yeah, I don't know how her kid is doing. I have no way to get a hold of them to ask. And I don't think her mom or her dad give a fuck, or the brother, so I'm sure they wouldn't be able to tell me. <clears throat> yeah, Shauna, at like 11 o'clock today in the morning, when she left at 5 p.m. here. These are the Bulldog Spicy Noodles. Um, well, given that she was... Maybe your friend needs your help. Yeah, no, that's not fucking happening anymore. <laughs> we are past that, bitch. <laughs> no, ma'am. Um, no thank you. Bitch, I'd be crazy to do that. Um. Oh, that's what I was saying. Given the fact that she's been doing this for a year and a half, and I just now pretty much made it public, I did tell supporters about it a few months back. Because um, I didn't want to go here, but after being stolen from yet again, it's just, I'm good. Oh, she said keep her name out of your mouth. Herpy mouth. Okay. <clears throat> Will do, Marlo, son. <laughs> Tell her to give me back the $400 she just spent on Airbnb. And then we might talk. Yeah, I'm still with Josh. Girl, drugs change people. Janet, it's in supporters, girl. You can only help someone so much. That's true. Mm. I'll admit anybody in your life who does not promote it. Wait, what? <sighs> Teresa, what are you talking about? It's okay, Janet. Um, but it's in there, babe. I don't know I have herpes either, girl, but you know what? If you have herpes and you struggle with it, um, because of dumbass comments like that, don't let them get to you, girl, boy. Whatever it may be. Um, did you get her car? I did. Um, don't let any... Disabil disability, sexual transmitted disease, um, make you feel less than, okay? <clears throat> Do not. Don't let your scars, your acne, your weight, whether you have three legs, or three legs, whether you have one leg, one arm, no arms, 10 fingers, 12 toes, six fingers, eight nipples, <clears throat> two belly buttons, no teeth, more than enough teeth, whatever. Do not let it, um, do not let it make you feel, feel less than.
Do you not like the skin on cucumbers? Um, not really. I guess somebody could be born with three legs, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Some way to talk sad. What? ready to go tomorrow no <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree <sighs> i need to take my christmas tree down i need to take all of my christmas decor down and i haven't yet i will want to get back you're a wicked witch of the west <laughs> if i click my heels will i go home or not Marlo, if I click my heels, will I go home? Let me know. With the end of my spine, out of my body? What? <clears throat> Are you going somewhere warm? I don't know. Am I? Am I? I have, Cynthia. I'm not a big candy person, but they are good. Yeah, Sherry, they are super spicy, but they have all kinds. They have, um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> they, um, who is Ashley? What's up with this girl? Ashley's, um, Ashley's a content creator. That was a follower that turned into my best friend. Maybe so. I'll try it, Marlo. I'll let you, I'll keep you updated. I want to know if I can click my heels. Um, but uh, dang, what was I talking about? Uh, what was I talking about? Let me scroll up. What was I talking about? Hocus pocus. My spine is bogus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye, Donna. Have a beautiful day, girl. Thank you, Christine, for your stars. Good morning from Australia. Girl, my sister is supposedly going there next month. I'm so jealous. You guys, stop responding to the threats. <sighs> Michael! Third click of your heels to get you where you want to be. LOL. You guys, stop hiding behind the freaking profile. Uh, or uh, stop hiding. Stop commenting to the comments. Responding to it. I saw it. Uh, Ashley and who she was. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Sucks because, like I said, she is a great human being. But the choices she's making right now are just trash. Wait, so my goal of non-content creator, content creator, best friend is long pitch because I just started. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Yeah, I do have a tattoo of her. She picked it, actually. It's our first picture that we ever took together. Hi, Mary. How are you, my love? Um... Go Buffalo Bills. All right, Debbie. <laughs> Random comment of the day goes to Debbie. <clears throat> oh my God. Sorry, Frank. Wait, what? Why are you apologizing? Oh my God. Hey, Queen. Hi, Jennifer. Come on, guys. We're better than that. There's no fixing any of that nonsense. I don't even know what y'all are talking about anymore. <clears throat> I don't know what my boob size is, but when I find out, I'll let you know, which is like never. <clears throat> which is like never. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. How are you, babe? 
No, she never had a key to my place. Justice for Jessica. Oh my gosh, Christine. She is in Miami, isn't she? I forgot. Frank is so happy he's home. He's not gonna be impressed when I'm when I leave tomorrow morning at 6.15 in the morning to head to the airport. He's not gonna be a happy camper. <laughs> Ask Josh for what, Debbie? Just a stranger internet person fan thing fan. Girl, your family. Um, if I'm ever, if I'm ever anywhere you are, we're definitely meeting up. Girl, you missed a lot. Karen, you're so late. Hi, Tanya. How are you, my love? How's Frank's paws? The thing is, it gets better, but then it goes back to being worse. Like, after I apply the medicine. So, I feel like maybe the medicine isn't good because it's adding mo moisture into it. No, my boyfriend's not coming with me. Key Largo. Ooh, how long is she going to be there for? Um, we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship sailing through the sky, little Einstein. I've been craving buffalo wild wings. I also am mad at myself that I didn't get Panera while I was in Ohio because it's so close to my parents' house. And I swear that Panera is like the best thing ever compared to all the Paneras I've been in, all the states I've been in. That Panera by my parents' house is fire. Josh is not taking care of Frank. Apical. No, Gina, can I get that on Amazon? Really, Brittany? Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Your guys' is freaking um, cheese danishes, broccoli and cheddar soup. Your guys' is Caesar fire. Um, oh my gosh, Teresa, that's funny. Uh, your guys' is muffins fire. Your guys' bread, your sourdough bread. Oh. The things I would do for some sourdough bread for Panera. Um, let's see. I think that's it. <sighs> I love cheddar cheese soup. Yeah, their broccoli and cheddar soup is, is so good. Um, I'm not a big fan of their, I can't remember, their like pizza things or something. I'm not a fan of their mac and cheese, really. I'm not a fan of their, um, no, I haven't, Shauna. Okay, Gina, I'll ask my bet. Oh my gosh, Brittany, I'm glad Trumpet's working for you, though. My ear, it just, um, I've been here for 48 minutes, babe. The French onion, see, I don't really like French onion. And how are you, babe? You can buy on Chewy, but only with a prescription. Okay, I'll see. Uh, Teresa, where the hell was my invite, girl? Rude. Rude prude. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and eat with you guys. There really isn't that many questions. <laughs> There's supposed to be a Q and A. <gasps> oh my god, I almost showed my titty to y'all. <coughs> Are you doing trumpet, Anya? I was. Um. When are you due? Um, with my triplets in 2029. If you're ever in Groton, Connecticut, stop by and get some food on me. Oh, girl, I don't even know where that is, but. Oh, Marlo, you're still here. Where did you get your shirt from, Ross? The 
then mama get home safe she did hi monica look up bantex it's good for a lot of animals she has tractor supply it helped my dog Let's see i think i got that um, yeah, are you going to California to Lorella? No, but we are planning that trip again. I was supposed to be there in January, wasn't I? Or was that December? No, that was November. Oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Are you and Josh expecting it's going around? You are. Expecting bad weather? Yes. Did your mom's car make it to you yesterday? Yeah, it's sitting in my parking lot. She took the Camry home. Are you really pregnant this time? Was I not pregnant last time? I had an ectopic pregnancy. I guess that's not a real pregnancy. It was attempting to be a, a pregnancy, so I feel like you shouldn't downplay because it's still a loss, so. Yes, Jamie. I don't think doing life packing is copying anyone because so many people do it. Yeah, Robin. Um, I changed the price of it, but <clears throat> if you were, um, did it expire on your end or Facebook's end? An ectopic pregnancy. Um, so what happens with that is the baby what do you call that like an, the embryo i guess um hold on let me remember your name when you come in again robin so yeah robin did you renew or like did you end the subscription or did it end on its own you're still pregnant ectopic or not yeah that's what i was gonna say but you know what she said i wasn't so but yeah, so an ectopic pregnancy is when you, um, your embryo, is, is that what it's called? So it pretty much travels, like when the egg and the sperm meet and whatever, um, it goes up your little tubes to travel to your uterus. And what happened is, um, the, it latched onto my tube if that makes sense i'm so horrible at explaining things i don't know why y'all even try to make me feel like i can explain shit but whatever sex ed with anya girl we will all get an f even the professor me um but yeah so it latched onto my left tube so i had all of the all of the pregnancy symptoms like the breast tenderness the um morning sickness um a p positive pregnancy test um my hcg levels were up you know what i mean all of it my body was pregnant if that makes sense um but because my the egg wasn't planted inside of the uterus it cannot grow in your tube obviously a baby can't grow in a tube you know what i mean like your fallopian tubes so with that um uh with that like they either give you a shot it starts with an m or they hope that your body resolves um the pregnancy like by itself and so when i went so when i went in for my ultrasound um it de it is definitely life-threatening so when i go in, went in for my ultrasound they couldn't see anything and i was about six to seven weeks so they should have at least seen a sac in my uterus in my opinion but then again i'm not a doctor so i was like well maybe like it's um earlier than i thought but i did the math from my last menstrual and then like when i thought i had implantation bleeding was when we were in was when we were in miami in june um so then i went to i finally like i think f like about a week went by and i was having like weird stomach pains and then my pregnancy symptoms just stopped like my boobs no longer hurt i didn't have any morning sickness and so i was like what the heck but when i peed on a pregnancy stick 
it was still saying I was pregnant. So I was like, what the heck? So I would call the doctor and I'm like, something's wrong. And they're like, well, we're not going to see you till you're eight week. Like nothing should be wrong. Like blah, blah, whatever. And I'm like, okay. Like they didn't take it as seriously as they, as they thought they should have. Or as they should, as I thought that they should have. Um, so moving forward while well, my mom was here after like we told her the news and all that stuff. Um, IUI, what is that? I had when I asked the doctor if they could just push it to the uterus. He said it doesn't work that way. Yeah, Amanda, it doesn't. I mean, an, an ectopic pregnancy will never become a pregnancy. Um, I'm sorry you went through that, girl. I have been there, and it sucked. So then I remember my mom was over here, and she was leaving the next day, and I was laying in my bed, and I went to go fix my shorts like this, like the this part of my shorts, but out of my butt. I was, like, laying on my side. And I felt something. I was like, what the hell? And I brought my my hand up. And I turned my light on on my, on my nightstand. And I was like, is that blood? And like, the first instinct is to smell it. To be like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, bitch, did I shit myself? I'm just kidding. But I was like, is that blood? And it smelled like blood. And I was like, what the heck? So I took my pants off. And then um, I had bled like about this much. Like the size of like your palm. Like there was this much blood on my uh i wear depends if you guys don't know hi becca um right melissa some people don't understand sometimes though but <clears throat> i think it's because i went and anyway like, hold on let me finish ta ta saying uh, talking about this so i was like what the heck and my mom was like well like that could be you can have like uh bleeding from a hematoma um, hi Cindy, you can have bleeding from a hematoma, you can have just bleeding from your uterus expanding, um, uh, like, there's all kinds of reasons why your body can bleed during pregnancy. It isn't a good sign, but that doesn't necessarily always mean bad, if that makes sense, you know? So I was, like, still hopeful, I was like, okay, okay, um... I don't know what that is, Jamie. Can you explain it? If not, I can Google it after my life. I don't have my other phone to Google it. So a few days went by, like two days went by. Well, the thing is, is when that bleeding started, I had like a weird cramp in my stomach. But me and my boyfriend, we were hugging a lot a few hours before that. And you know, sometimes when you hug a lot and the person you're hugging is a little too rough, you get that like weird... Um... You get that like weird feeling in your stomach, like y your guts were rearranged, if that makes sense. Uh, Sarah, we weren't talking, they weren't talking about you, girl. So, um, so yeah, so I was like, mm, like, I didn't think anything out of it, but then I was bleeding and I was like, well, it was it from rough sex or like what? Because it wasn't like that much blood. And so, yeah, I did, Cindy. So then I think like, day two like i started pressing my doctor i'm like something is wrong like can you guys just please fucking see me because i didn't have i didn't my appointment wasn't for another like week or something like that and i was like something's freaking law like wrong like can y'all just please fucking see me like what the hell so finally they were like okay so they brought me in like they did the blood pressure all of that the p test um and then when since i was early on um she was like the ultra town sec person or whatever she did the vaginal ultrasound thing or whatever and as soon as she put it in there she was like wide-eyed and i was like well, girl what the f we we uh, is it on site are we standing on business what's going on here and she was like well all i'm seeing is just a lot of blood like a lot of blood and i'm like what she's like all of this is blood like all of this is blood um yeah, Chrissy, my high-risk doctor said that I um, I am high-risk, but I'm not. I don't, it's hard to explain. So anyways, I was like, what the heck? So she was like, well, we're going to have to, you know, call the doctor in here, whatever, blah, blah. And I was like, huh? So me, in my eyes, I'm thinking, okay, I'm still pregnant, but there's just blood in my uterus. Like, what the hell happened? And so he came in and he was like explaining to me, but the way he explained an ectopic pregnancy to me, 
when he was like, um, when he was like, it will resolve itself. Like I left that office thinking, okay, like my body is going to fight to keep this pregnancy. Like I didn't understand what he meant by that. Like, this is an old story. Yes, Morgan. Like, I didn't understand what he meant by that. I was like, what? So, and me and my friend were both confused. We're like, so wait, so like, if what does he mean by result? Like, we were so, we were in so much shock. We were just like, what is happening? And then like when um, he was like, we're just gonna take your HG, we're gonna take your blood work and look at the HG levels. Um, come back in two days, do it again, and we'll see, like, if their body is resolving it. So I guess that's when I was like, oh, so, like, it, it would kind of, like, go through, like, a miscarriage in a way, but it wasn't a miscarriage. Like, I wouldn't have, like, the baby wasn't in the uterus, so, like, it, it wasn't called a miscarriage. It was just an ectopic pregnancy, if that makes sense. So I was like, what the hell? Um, then I like got home and I like re started doing research on my own and I was like what like I didn't even know that was a thing like I've heard of ectopic pregnancies, but I didn't really realize what they were um, So yeah, so then My levels were like super high like they were still rising So my body wasn't resolving it and they were like, okay, well We're gonna have to either give you the shot or something. So <clears throat> an ectopic pregnancy is very dangerous it is so then the next time i went to my doctor's appointment um they did the ultrasound on me and he was like ah bitch you need to go into surgery right now and i was like what and he was like you your your ectopic pregnancy bur like your fucking fallopian tube bursted my left tube bursted from that topic pregnancy he was like how have you not been in pain or anything and i was like i'm supposed to be in pain why would i be in pain what the hell um chrissy my injury has nothing to do with this ectopic pregnancy so anyway so i was like what so he was like yeah you're internally bleeding out right now like if i would have not went to my appointment i would have been dead <laughs> pretty much like if i would have went to bed i would have bled out like i would have drowned in my own blood or some shit like i don't know it was a whole thing and um moving forward we went into the um oh my gosh chrissy can you stop <laughs> goodness gracious woman i have seen a specialist okay gosh bless oh it irks me how many times do i have to respond to you it gives me a fucking headache, man. Lord. Yeah, that's the reason you need to see a specialist. I'm so glad you're so smart. Good job. Lord, stop commenting that. And so, went in, had surgery. They removed my left tube. They pretty much were like, by the way, um, um, that's how, that's exactly what happened to me. If I would have went to sleep, I would have died from internal bleeding. Yeah, and that's terrifying to think about. Because it's like, what if I didn't feel good and like went, didn't go to my appointment, you know what I mean? Or what if I didn't make my appointment and I was late? So, you know what I mean? Anything could have came up and I could have like not went to my appointment and not know because I had no pain. Um, I had no cramps. I had no, nothing. Like I had no symptoms of a burst and internal bleeding like nothing like literally like when they told me that i was like what do you mean they're like how are you not in pain and i was like i feel fine <laughs> i feel fine and they're like you're internally bleeding right now like like i wasn't bleeding like i wasn't like the but like there was no blood coming out of my coot nothing and i was like what the hell so yeah they went in i went into surgery they gave me anesthesia or whatever um took my left tube out um it's two incisions one through your belly button and then one kind of like where you get your cesarean si cesarean cyst what the fuck um cesarean is that what it's called cesarean cut for your c-section that's kind of where the scar is it's like right not the scar but the incision and then they go in and then they, whatever um they took like pictures of the tube and then what it looked like and then like removing it whatever um so then i woke up <laughs> i guess when i was waking up out of like whatever um 
oh my goodness um i was like i guess when i first got out of anesthesia i was asking if i went back on live to tell you guys that i survived and i'm okay <laughs> didn't worry about no one else but you guys like the nurse was like you just kept asking like did i go live and let my followers know i made it like do my followers know i'm alive like that's how heavy you guys are on my head sometimes. Hi, Leslie. And one of the nurses actually follows me. Um, she was like, dude, we were messaging about meeting up. And then you never responded to me. I'm like, oh my God, girl, I'm so sorry. But yeah, she was like, you just kept asking, did I go live? Do they know that I just had surgery and I had my tube removed? Do they know I'm okay? Like, apparently that's all I was... Um, Not became, oh my gosh, Mary, for to remove your tubes. Oh my god, whatever. Molly, shut the fuck up, bitch. We ain't got time for you. Hi, Shirley. How are you, my love? I know, Jamie. That's what I was confused about because when I started like looking into all of it, um, like when I started doing all of my research about ectopic pregnancies and how like dangerous and life threatening they are. I was just like, dude, why did they send me home in hopes that it resolves itself? Like, knowing how, um, screams how bad I was walking to work that way. Dad, I turned around. I just got back home. I was in so much pain. I could not walk. Had to get the ambulance. Yeah, I was, I had no pain. Like, nothing. Hi, Frank. Um, I'm so sorry you went through that. Yeah, it definitely sucked. <laughs> um but yeah like when i did all my research i was like damn like why didn't they give me the shot how do you pronounce that methotrexate <sighs> uh, but yeah they like sent me home in hopes that it resolves itself and then it like didn't and then i ended up so i ended up losing my left tube and this was in august so my surgery was august 14th um Girl, I had that same thoughts when they sent you home. Yeah, I was like, um, they weren't, I mean, they, they didn't even like speak to me about giving the shot. They were just like, the options are it resolves itself or you get the shot. And then they sent me home. Like I said, when I, when they sent me home, I didn't even realize like when they were like, when they said that it'll resolve itself, like, bitch, I thought that my, like my body was just going to suck it out of my tube and put it where it belongs. Like I didn't understand at all all what an ectopic pregnancy was like i was so confused me and my friend were sitting there like wait a minute so when he said like literally when we left the when we left the doctor's office yeah they removed my tube permanently um i don't have i only have one tube fallopian tube i have my right tube both my ovaries but yeah, and then when I called my mom, she was like, what do you mean they just sent you home? And I was like, why are you freaking out? She's like, Anya. And then that's what made me start doing research because my mom was like, Anya, like, are you sure they said ectopic? And I was like, yes. She was like, that's life threatening. She was like, um, Anya, you can literally bleed out and i was like well i haven't been bleeding like i didn't even realize you know what i mean that like when a burst like that happens like bitch all right p all right p if you don't take care of it you know what i mean um but yeah it was crazy like but when we left the doctor's office we were both so confused like i had no idea what was happening stopped at the CVS, peed on a stick because I was like, wait, so I'm not pregnant? Peed on a stick and I was like, it still says I'm pregnant. So like when it resolves itself, like it'll be in my uterus. Like we had no idea. Like we were so confused. I didn't know they could give a shot. I got a type of pregnancy and was sent home and it resolved itself. Yeah, that's what he, they, he was telling me. He was like, it'll either resolve itself or you'll have to have the shot. Um, but mine didn't resolve itself. Mine burst in my tube, which was causing internal bleeding. And literally, who knows when it burst because it was over the weekend. And then I think I saw my doctor Monday or Tuesday. We had Stevie. We had to call Josh's mom and be like, you need to come get Stevie because I'm going into surgery right now. And obviously Josh needed to be there in case anything happened, you know. But... 
uh yeah katie like if you don't ask you know what i mean like they'll just send you home like you have to ask the right questions that's the same doctor that i still have shauna um would you need a dnc uh no that's that's for when the baby is in the uterus girl but yeah so then they were like you have both your ovaries like this won't change um your chances of you know conceiving again is that the word thank you jennifer for your stars babe they're like this won't change your chances um blah 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 they're like you stop both your ovaries like uh your ovaries are healthy your uterus is healthy your cervix is healthy all of that and um the only thing is is with ectopic pregnancies they make you wait three menstrual cycles before you start um trying again like three healthy menstrual cycles and i got mine literally um i got mine literally like like the same oh i got it on the same days as i'm supposed to after the surgery uh, thank you, Candace, for your 34 stars. If I don't understand what the doctor is saying, I tell him to explain it to me like a five-year-old. Yeah, Gloria, but sometimes when you're in so much shock, you don't even, like, process it. You're just kind of like, okay. Like, I remember I was just looking at him like it had a, it had a head. What? Um, but... The left ovary is good for your hormones. That's it. I had no idea. I, I don't know shit about ovaries. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. How are you feeling, babe? You said you should be good by the weekend from um, your procedure. That's pretty quick. Now I'm stuck on birth control. I tried to get off it, but I noticed so much headaches. I pray one day I'm able to have a baby. Oh my gosh, Mickey. So birth control prevents the headaches from you? From from uh, having your the birth control prevents headaches for you and yeah did they um did they take any of your tubes with your rupture pregnant or ectopic yeah it was like all i knew was that we just were we in my head i was like we just lost the baby but then when he kept saying like it'll resolve itself like i think i was in so much shock and in so much denial i was like Psh my body gonna take this baby out my tube and put it where it belongs like i don't know so <clears throat> you're in a lot of denial so sometimes you forget to ask the right questions um hi erica and then when when you process it you're kind of just like wait a minute what the heck you know so Did you have another miscarriage? We're talking about my ectopic pregnancy, girl. I lost the little girl 10 days after birth. Oh no, Gloria, I'm so sorry. What happened? <sighs> Hugs, friend. I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't even imagine. Like, I don't try to compare losses, but I do compare losses as far as like, I feel like there's, how do I explain this? Like, I would much rather go through a loss while the baby is in my belly than a loss when the baby is out. Um, Candace, are you taking anything to help, like, conceive? I said always suggest these two motherfuckers. Conceive plus pills and geritol and prenatals. Uh, she got it back to my house. Six weeks old to sit. Oh my gosh, Carmilla. I literally I don't know what I, I don't know what the fuck I would do. I'm so sorry, girl. And that's the thing, like, people are always saying, like, oh, well, you know, like, you don't want to announce your pregnancy before the 12 weeks, because if you go through a loss, you, a loss can still happen after 12 weeks. You can carry a baby full term, and you can, um, it grew in her fallopian tube. 
yeah i mean if it doesn't burst the baby will try to grow until a, until it needs nutrients and then obviously you can give nutrients to a baby in your tubes compared to your uterus so um <clears throat> it's hard but i was six months when i miscarried yeah like that's like uh, i don't know and then i also feel like i'm sorry that you went through that babe i'm I literally i did not mean to disregard you like that glory i'm so sorry um a loss can happen at any time. It can happen at six weeks. It can happen at six months. It can happen at nine months. It can happen at six months after you give birth. Anytime. So my people are like, you should have waited to announce your pregnancy or start buying things for your baby. Like, shut the fuck up. Let me celebrate that I am literally blessed to have this opportunity. Okay? Like shut up whether you are two weeks pregnant or have a two-year-old okay a baby is a baby and it should be celebrated regardless and especially if you are a first time mom or father or mom and mom father and father or dinosaur and dinosaur bird and bird whatever um one to cancer and the other on a polaris oh my goodness angie oh um chastity i did um uh, i did make a video about it it's the video about my ectopic pregnancy is pinned at the top of my page i did finally speak on it um hi lynn how are you my love um, but like I said, I don't, I, how do I word this? <laughs> I didn't, I, I don't know how to word it. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we are talking about my ectopic pregnancy. <clears throat> amen right i felt the same way i told everyone before three months right like but yeah when i went through my ectopic pregnancy that shit was terrifying look at my skin um let's not mention bad things positive talk guys <laughs> right so yeah when and if you do become pregnant again after a loss um if you want to fucking scream it and shout it to the world, as soon as you pee on that stick and it's positive, do so. Do not let somebody tell you you can't. SPI? What's a SPI? You were excited and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What were you feeling that you went to the hospital? Sophia, I just had my checkup. Like, after they did my blood work um they said that my hg levels were rising so they asked me to come in and then that's when they did the ultrasound and they're like oh you need to go into a surgery you're internally bleeding and i was like what do you mean <laughs> am i dying bitch <sighs> these are so horrible for you shut up i know <laughs> i know this skin is so bad i literally fucking cannot uh yeah josh is coming over at some point today i don't know when <clears throat> you are funny my life is comical welcome oh, stevie's with her mama my love and when you do get pregnant again you stayed scared it's so scary every day it never gets easier anxiety of a mom dude the anxiety uh, okay sti i was like chrissy girl what's an spi um did you deliver yours naturally or did you have a c-section but yeah like what i tell you um like when they let you know like that window of when you can start trying again and like every negative is like so disappointing you know what i mean like every time you pee on a, a stick because like i feel like if you want so like when you want a baby that bad um like your your mind almost like tricks you like, if you even remotely, like, gag at something or you wake up and you're, like, wanting to throw up or your boobs or anything, you're just like, 
I have to be pregnant. Like, I can't tell you the amount of pee sticks that I've probably peed on my whole life from when I started like being sexually active. Like, I feel like your brain's just like, girl, you pregnant, you pregnant, I am. Take that pee stick. And then when you get that negative, you're just like, man, what the fuck? And then, you know what's even crazier is two or three days go by and you pee on another stick. <laughs> thinking well maybe it was too early to tell you know you guys know what I'm saying um, and then also I remember I was talking to my OBGYN is that what the things are called that check your vaginas and give you pap smears um, so you take a test that is positive when you don't expect it after five years of trying to exp wait what so you that's how you found out um, Oh my gosh, Donna, that's a huge baby. But yeah, so I was talking to my coochie doctor one day and uh, this was when I was in a really, 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 really horribly toxic relationship. Um, and I don't know why I stayed and went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, but I was young and dumb, still am dumb, because I will still continue to fight for someone if I love them. Um, and I remember my doctor was like, so like, have you thought about birth control? And I'm like, nah, bro, I'd be popping them plan B's like TikToks. And he's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and I'm like, sir, what do you mean what? He's like, how many plan B's do you think you take? every six months I was like I don't know probably 10 or 15 he's like ma'am <laughs> no stop doing that and I'm like what and he's like that is not good for you and I'm like what why not <laughs> um I think you find out the gender at 10 weeks for a blood test girl I don't know ask your doctor I'm not a professional. How are you, Tanya? Dude, I stay having dreams that I'm pregnant and I stay having dreams that I go to a doctor and then they find twins. <clears throat> You're supposed to write the ro roller coasters pregnant. Not the rough ones, some you can. Oh, Kathy, yay! I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. I planned both my pregnancies just to make sure everything went as planned. And nothing goes as planned when it comes to a pregnancy, girl. That's a damn lie. You cannot plan. I mean, you can plan to conceive, but you cannot plan shit after that. Uh, 10 for some, 12 for most, 20 weeks for anatomy scan. Usually dogs are baked up if you don't book early and your skin will be like 22 weeks. Wait, do so you have to be 20 weeks to find out on an ultrasound? I was 18 weeks to tell me a girl and then at my 30 week, ah, it was a boy I had butt all. <gasps> Katie, shut up. <sighs> Morgan, why are you confused, girl? This isn't a supporter life, by the way. So the anatomy scan. So you're not supposed to trust the blood work test? I'm a great grandmother now. I'm raising my great grandson. I have had him since birth and he's six now. Oh, Gloria, you're a blessing. That's beautiful. Girl, no, I already had a boy. My sister had four boys, so we all went nuts. Oh my gosh. She said, finally a girl. <laughs> From your OB, yes, 20 weeks. From an ultrasound place, I believe they can tell it 14 weeks. The... So I asked my doctor when we went in July, I was like, what are the chances of like twins having twins? And he said that paternal twins 
my friend Anna actually also talked about this. Um, and then I asked him again when I saw him again. And I was like, what are the chances of twins having twins? And he said, paternal twins, um, paternal twins can be made. Like the mom, um, the mom, <sighs> Tanya, we're not in supporters, girl. What did I miss? I don't know. I don't know when you got here. But, um, yeah, so from what I understood, I could be wrong. I don't know. But fraternal twins can be made by the mom. And identical twins are the ones that are to, like, run in the family, if that makes sense. At any point in time, you as a, like... I don't know. You Google it or ask your doctor. <laughs> Up the market with no man. Girl, you better put your ass back on there. Uh, see, I've never heard of a blood DNA test at eight weeks. We're just chit-chatting about babies because the um, I was talking about my ectopic pregnancy and somebody asked what it was. So we just got to talking about babies now. Um... My sister had two sets of eternal twins, first two boys, sec they told her she dropped multiple eggs. Yeah, so that's what they explain. Um, but t identical twins can run in the family. So that's what he explained to me. But then again, I didn't really listen. <laughs> kit you order online called sneak peek oh shit really amber was it true i had an ultrasound at eight weeks to confirm my pregnancy that's how most people that's when most people have their ultrasound to confirm it oh candace it'll happen girl take the conceive plus pills Yeah, Gloria, people are telling me about all kinds of uh, wives, uh, old wives' tales or whatever. A two-vessel cord? What does that mean? Itch, itch, itch. I got my shirt from Ross. Hi, Jennifer. Oh my gosh, Amanda, my friend went through that too. But she didn't adopt. They weren't approved to adopt. I don't know if I'll be on live, Katie. But yeah, you can snap me, girl. I need to take my trash out. Alright, you guys, I gotta take Frank out. It's 6 o'clock. Last time he was out was at 3. Hey, Becky. Uh, we did do a supporter life today. Yes, go and you, girl, you always ask if we do supporter lives. You, if you don't get notified of, about a supporter life at any point in time, go to my page and scroll down. So if you don't see anything from that day, then you know we didn't do one. You know what I mean? Or go to your subscribers hub. I know notifications don't work, but you can go on my page and see. Because for the most part, I do supporter lives every day, you know? Except for, like, the last three or four days. We've been slacking. But we caught up in supporters a lot today. And then, obviously, we're going to catch up even more. Um, and I'm going to make a post in supporters today asking you guys what I need to do with everything. Barbara, she didn't make it home safely. Yes, ma'am. Um, did your mom stay with you? No, she's home, girl. But all right, you guys, I'm gonna go walk Frank. I appreciate all of y'all so much. If it's cold where you are, please stay safe, stay warm. And if you're out and about on these icy roads anywhere, stay safe, okay? Don't be out there wilding. Don't be out there wilding. Don't be like me. Don't be me. Don't be me. Don't be like me. Have you ever bought a house? No. 
I want to. I'm in the process of trying to. Thank you, Crystal. <coughs> Pray for a healthy baby. Even though the price of supporters went up, it's totally worth it. I feel honored that I'm allowed to be a supporter. Oh, I love you, Arlene. Stay safe. Yes, you too, you guys. Um, stay safe, warm, and I will be seeing you guys. Oh, maybe I'll jump back on tonight. If I don't, I will be seeing you guys later tomorrow. But I'll probably jump back on tonight, honestly. We need a pack. So we'll do a packing live or something. Jesse, I need to come there because it's cold here. But I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye-bye.